Hey everyone, welcome back to AutoX, a channel on YouTube where we feature interesting vehicles from around the world. Some of them we sell, some of them we don't. Right in front of me is a 1988 Toyota Land Cruiser. This is one of the final years of the Land Cruiser 60 series. This one is an HJ61, which means it is the four liter turbo diesel powered Land Cruiser from Japan. It's a right-hand drive spec. It's a high roof spec, also known as a safari roof, as I believe they were sold in Australia and Japan, as well as a few other regions. We never got them in North America in this form. And in my opinion, this is probably the best form that they came in. This example is an interesting vehicle. It has some really cool features that were never offered on these 60 series in America. And in this video, we're gonna get into the exterior, the interior details, and we're even gonna take it for a test drive. So come along with me as we start doing that. This one is finished in its original gray blue metallic paint job. This is the original paint. This has not been repainted. This Land Cruiser presents as though it should belong in a museum. It has only 83,000 original miles. It was a one owner vehicle when we acquired it in Japan. And it is immaculate. Finding one of these 61 series in this condition is just getting near impossible to find. You could look across the entire world for one like this and you won't find one. We've gone through and done a host of service to this truck to make it ready for its new home. That service includes new 32 inch general grabber tires, new clutch master cylinder and slave cylinder, new rear brake cylinders, as well as a brake flush and an oil change. It was maintained and registered up until the day we got it out of Japan. The previous owner upkept this truck beautifully. It looks as though it has never been stored outside for very long. So let's get into a few of the exterior features. You'll notice the rear axle is a full floating rear axle identified by this protruding piece here. It sits on aftermarket wider 15 inch alloy wheels that suit the truck quite well. Everything on this truck is really clean from the badging to the paint, all the little rubber gaskets around the windows all the seals are supple and fresh. If you've been looking for a truck, a 61 that's clean and has all the options, this might be the one you've been looking for. Original Toyota glass all over, including the windshield. The front hubs are manual locking ASIN freewheeling hubs. Twist it to lock it, and then you engage four wheel drive locking both sides. We have a front park bench bumper which houses the PTO factory winch complete with its factory cover. The front headlights have washers as you can see here as well as on the left side and there is a separate reservoir in the engine bay where you would put your wiper, your headlight washer fluid. As you can see, everything on this truck shines for a vehicle from 1988, for it to be all original. It's just quite remarkable. Now we deal with clean vehicles, that's what we do over at AutoX, but to find something from this period that is still this original and this clean is really, really surprising and uncommon. 
the paint shines all over the hood, the roof, everything. There's no patina or clear coat failure. There's a few little imperfections, but really it's nominal. Um, it would be hard to even find and point them out because they're so inconspicuous. It has these period correct rain visors, which appear to be factory. However, they're not badged as far as I can tell. So let's take a look inside the passenger front door. This door card is super clean. The only interior flaw I can point out on this whole truck is this speaker cover. These are plastic mounted. As you can see, it broke loose from its, from its plastic mounts, rivets almost. And it just kind of hangs because there's only one holding it still. We were gonna glue it back. We haven't done that yet. Um, and honestly, we wanted to keep this truck as original as possible. And this doesn't compromise anything about the integrity. In fact, they sell aftermarket replacements for these if you didn't want to glue it and you want to replace it with something else. But other than that, look at this, the fabric, this matte pocket, the chrome trim on the door panel, and that's a power window switch there. Everything is in a great, great shape. A little rippling here, but otherwise it's, it's amazing. Your step in threshold, this is all super clean. Original carpet under here is just, and the original floor mats from 1988, protecting the carpet, which is spotless. Grab handle on the glove box side, 4x4 engaging instructions in Japanese. So inside the glove box, we've got some receipts for the work that we've performed on the truck. Your vents, which are twister, twist, open and close. And these factory turbo Recaro seats are really, really cool. They're finished in a, I believe this is almost an Alcantara with a, a velour. And these are original and comfortable. These were unique to the 61 model series um, in the turbo, the turbo engine. And there's a matching set of them in the rear as well. The rear door panel is in great shape. Built in back when everyone had their own ashtray. However, this car, I assure you, has never been smoked in. It smells like new in here. Some instructions in Japanese. Just ignore the bag of chips and the soda over there, and that's, that's my lunch not included. Rear map pockets are still taut. Some mats here protect the original carpet underneath, which is just super tidy. And these seats are tidy. You can release them here and they fold. You'd want to take this out or move this up first, but this folds down. It does it on both sides, 50-50. Let's take a look at that headliner. No flaws. It's not sagging or punctured in any area. The rear speakers are in great shape. All right, let's walk around to the driver's side. Even the gasket on here 
I'm trying to point out any flaws, but I can't, there really aren't any. And, but it, I will go across any imperfections as we walk around the truck, um, this rear factory bumper with a step in the center. You still have your spare tire release instructions and the factory sticker, the tongue weight rating. badging here everything is in great shape let's pull down the tailgate this is it's so clean I can't emphasize that enough we've got the using this to protect the seats and the floor mats so just ignore that not part of it however we did notice the turbo decal on the back was starting to fray. We didn't want to replace that because we want the truck to be presented as all original, but there is a factory Toyota replacement turbo decal included should you want to replace that. Comes with the tool kit and bottle jack. Housed in here. And we noticed the tool kit was missing one of the wrenches. I believe it was the 810. So we went ahead and sourced that from Toyota. So now the toolkit is complete. We care about the small details. I'll point that out here. You see the end of that decal and there's some other areas where it's just a little weathered so you have a fresh replacement for that should you wish mud flaps are original underneath is rust free the frame is quite spotless i don't know if you can see it there behind the tire but the frame rails are very very clean there's only some surface rust on the leaf springs, which is just totally normal. Factory aluminum running boards are in great shape. Your passenger door, right side. Door card here. It's in great shape here. And the carpet is still plush. Seat belts in the back. You can seat three on this bench here. I'm gonna move my snack just to show you guys the seat here. Just really clean. Again, this map pocket isn't sagging or anything like that. Uh, you've got controls for the rear heat here. The switch is up front. I'll show that after we step into the front. Just some wax residue. This was super well taken care of. Driver's door card. Original badging from the Arakara Auto Body, later known as Arico. This is the original sticker from, I believe, the 80s through the late 80s. Carpeting on this door card is immaculate. All your power window switches, everything works. Driver has an auto up and down. And uh, door locks. These original factory stickers are just delaminating a little bit. But all original. 
looking in to the driver's side threshold controls for your seat tilt and your back adjustment again original floor mats look like they've been covered up since new some electronics unplugged so turbo timer that was unplugged no one really uses those anymore and i'm not even sure if they're if they were beneficial or not but it was popular in the 90s on these japanese cars to have turbo timers driver's seat doesn't show any signs of wear steering wheel presents like new i'm going to step in I know we're facing the sun, so it's hard. All right, your shift knob, five speed, transfer case shift lever, and your PTO winch controller are here. In the center console, this is your rear heater switch. Low, high, and off. And your center console. And the sweet magic. Well, it's not the magic dial, or like the magic levers. Front and rear diff locks factory. These are cable locking differentials, not electronic. Very, very cool, very robust system. Very sought after and very rare option in these 61s to have the cable lockers and the PTO winch and the five speed and the turbo diesel. It's kind of the best of the best. You see the diff lock icons there underneath the tack. You got your two spoke wheel, which presents like new. It's not shiny or worn, it still has its original texture. And your speedo, your tack, and your gauges on the right coolant temperature, oil pressure, voltmeter, and your fuel. This one also has the original radio tape deck from Toyota. It is a super cool, super period correct, and it still works. And it's just so hard to find these still with this radio and all the options. Got your climate control, bezel, AC switch, all of these. You've got your wiper, sorry, your antenna, defrost, rear wiper. And you've got your high four switch here after you twist your hubs. You engage it through there. To the right of the steering wheel, we've got your idle switch. You pull this back to increase your engine idle speed. So if you're using your PTO for your winch, you can control that there, have more granularity. And your power mirrors are switched through this. Everything is in fantastic condition. There are no cracks in the dash. This thing has been in st stored inside by us and uh, its previous one owner. Up here, you've got your upper console. So it gives you your outside, your inside temperature in Celsius, as well as an altimeter. Overhead lights and your sunroof. Why don't I show you guys what it looks like up on the roof, exterior. The paint presents wonderfully. The sunroof seal is all intact. This car is not leaking. Even these rain gutters, which are known to rust out, still have full seam sealer and are all in really good shape. Top edge of the windshield gasket. It's all as it should be from Toyota. All right, well, why don't we pop the hood?
original radiator from Toyota. This is your 12 HT turbo diesel, four liter engine, fully mechanical, timing gear driven. There's no timing chain, there's no timing belts. This is one of the last most robust engines that Toyota put in the Land Cruisers um, that was not timing belt driven. These engines do really well on fuel economy. You're gonna be getting low 20s and they have nice power as well and they're very modifiable. You can throw a G-turbo in this thing and up the power, make it a really scoot down the road. As you can see, the engine bay is relatively untouched. You've got your pin plate there. This is a 24 volt truck, so you have two batteries. Allows for almost instant engine turnover and starting. Helps it out in, in the cold. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and well, why don't we fire it up after this and take it for a test drive. What do you guys say about that? All right, well, I've got the factory original key here, so why don't we fire this up and take it for a drive. These 12 HT engines are pretty beastly. They sound like a tractor. And they just kind of pull right along. It's a factory turbocharged variant of the 2H. Power delivery on this truck is smooth and consistent. The shifter is tight and solid. Shifts as it should, feels as it should. A little turbo light comes on once you're in boost. Going into fifth now. And yeah, we're cruising at about 60. With plenty of room to go. So this is a full leaf sprung truck at all four corners. Solid front and rear axles. A 
really primitive, simple, stupid, dead, reliable technology. They really don't make vehicles like this anymore. There's not a single computer in this truck. So it's gonna get you to the end of the earth through an apocalypse, whatever you want. The front and rear cable locking differentials make it exceptionally more capable than most other 60 series. In fact, US spec, North American spec 60s never came with those cable lockers. Nor did they come with a PTO winch or the 12HT diesel. Or the high roof. This truck has a lot of unique things going for it. And they're just so, so hard to find like this. We've spent the, the larger part of the last seven or eight years looking for, for a truck like this. And um, well, I just know when this goes to a new home, we're never gonna find another one quite like it. But man, is it sweet. Just cruises right along. I'm in fifth with plenty of room to go into the pedal. Keeping up at highway speeds with this setup should be no problem at all. It's the H55 gearbox, which is just really, really strong. It's the same gearbox they used in the, you know, troop carriers and uh, other 70 series for a certain period. Almost feel bad putting miles on the truck just because it is such a clean low mileage example and we had to wait for the right weather just because it's been babied its whole life and I'm, I'm not going to be the one to uh, to thrash it around and put it out in sloppy weather someone else can do that With only 83,000 miles, it does have its whole life ahead of it. Um, these engines are quite bulletproof and are designed for a very, very long service life. So yeah, you're going at about 60 and about 2100, 2200 RPM. The speedo's gonna be a little off just because we've got uh, bigger diameter tires on there. You know, maybe about five or five, seven or eight miles per hour. It's gonna read a little bit less than the actual speed you're going. Did just have the brakes serviced and full inspection done over at Land Cruiser Northwest. And we took care of all their major service points that they recommended. So the truck is dialed in and ready to go. The 
doesn't make any strange sounds whatsoever. It's smooth and quiet, aside from the uh, big humming diesel in front of you. That turbo kicks in and it's got some real nice power. A lot better than the sluggish 2F and 3F gas engines that were put in these over here. guys well that sums up our test drive and walkthrough video on this beautiful museum piece of an HJ61 1988 Toyota Land Cruiser this truck is now for sale while we're filming this it is just now for sale check us out on autox.com that's o-t-t-o-e-x.com or on Instagram at autox the full gallery of all the photos, pricing, and all that stuff will be available on our website. Or give us a call if you have any more questions. This is a beautiful truck, and we were super excited to present it to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, stay tuned for more.